Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Crimson Tides have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Stadium in beautiful Tallahassee, Florida. And we're looking forward to a great game coming up. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. is lined up to kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. Cowan takes it at the four. Brought down at the 25. The Seminoles offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays for over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Nice run there. Munoz gains about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Again with the run, brought down at the 42. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That makes it third and three. Here's third and three. Ball on the 42. Screen. He's at the 40, and he shoved out of bounds at the 37. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. tackled around the 40-yard line. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Black 90, He's gonna try and scramble. Now he's gonna run and watch out. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really liked the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. They're about four yards away here on third down. Roger, Roger. Watch Five wide. Here we, here we go, D. Here, now he's scrambling. 
Tackle made at the 15-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. From the 15-yard line, first down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at about the seven yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Get it again. Show some moves and he's in. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine play, 74 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, seven nothing. Maxi has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. And he's taken down at the 23. The offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Butler fakes the handoff. Good protection. He airs it out. Incomplete. Almost picked off. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. From their own 23-yard line. It's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds around the 25-yard line. He goes downtown. That's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Malone to punt. He showed a good burst there. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Florida State is up a score. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. King was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. He scrambled. Look at the strength. And they push him out at the 19-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down around the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown! 
That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle at the 33. The Seminoles really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Throws a bullet. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He gets hit out of bounds. It's the 37-yard line. Four yards on that play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Florida State's offense right now, I think all you can call it is scary. Well, they can attack you in so many different ways. They have a quarterback right now that's getting the ball out of his hands and making great decisions, and they have playmakers all over the field. This offense is tough to stop. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. We played one. The Seminoles in front, 14-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. I doubt anybody will ever mistake this guy for a tailback, but he didn't look too bad running the ball there. From the 50, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. There he goes. He's taken down at the 28. That'll make it second and inches. 
So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. And this play is number eight on the drive. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. And down he goes at the 19. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Slings it, and they make the stop around the 14-yard line. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. He's tackled at the one. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. From the one yard line, second down. Defense stacked in tight here. Looking for his man, incomplete. You got to give the receiver a chance to make the play. That was just underthrown. This is the 14th play of this drive. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Maxi has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They come out in an empty backfield. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Ryan on the tackle at the 41-yard line. First down. From their own 41-yard line. It's first down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. He's at midfield, and he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48. 
and he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And they got him. In the shotgun and five wide out. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. It's away, short punt. The Seminoles are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. They'll get him for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 31. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. We played a half of football here. The Seminoles lead it by 17. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Let's not get too carried away by the stats in the first half, but it is noteworthy. Less than six yards per pass attempt. Now, we talk to coaches around the country. They always want those explosive plays, big chunk plays. Not getting it in this game might be an indication there's not really that deep threat that strikes fear into the defense on the outside. The, the hardest thing for a corner is always facing a speedster, facing somebody that can stretch the field because then it makes you backpedal and really makes you, you know, take away that deep ball first and bail out of there. And then sometimes it opens up the underneath stuff where you give a cushion to a receiver. So I think the offense has to find playmakers. They got to find ways to take shots, run some different routes to find some creative ways to get some guys open because right now the little dink and dunk stuff isn't working. You're not threatening me down the field. I don't need to cover the whole field. We're bringing everybody up near the line of scrimmage and just taking away the short stuff. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something to the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Butler fields it at the 7, and he has it on the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26. Florida State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill when they can attack this offense. Tackle made at the 39. That's a game of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on their own 39. Three down, three down. Hey, check back 16. Check back 16. Tackle at the 50. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Fights forward to around midfield. Makes 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. the first down so they'll have to punt this one away the defense held their ground on that play the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers Cowan the return man from the 15 they'll bring him down at the 41 So they're just about set to get the game going again. And it carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 45. Pitch and catch for the first down. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 40. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Here we go. Watch, watch the pass. Watch the pass. Mike 18. Mike 18. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Oh, out there. Check the outs out there. Three down. Three down. He's scrambling. Excellent open field tackle. Huge play for the defense. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Rose, oh boy, almost intercepted. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Second and ten, ball on their own 30. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That'll make it 35. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 35. Catches it, and that's all. So the defense will hold them as they go three and out. Picture perfect defense on that try. That's what the defensive coordinator wants to see every single time. Malone to punt. Cowan takes it to 25, gets to about the 34 yard line. Here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Nice 
this run, and he's brought down. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Get to that quickly. He's taken down at about the 43 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. to that he's met immediately that's a loss of about five this defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play they're just one quarter away the Seminoles lead it by 17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes, around the 26-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And they make the stop at the 16. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Looks left, intercepted. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. Got a man in and out of his hands. From their own 18-yard line. It's second down. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled right around the 30. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the officials' judgments can have a big impact on a game. Makes the catch and look out. He's knocked out of bounds at the 45. That's a game of 15 on the play. First down. He airs it out. Incomplete. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. And he's 
immediately tackled. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Ready. Just Ready. under three to go in regulation. Ready. Just throws this one away. From the 45 yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five wide set. Brought down at the 34 yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Five wide. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Kirk, you and I have talked to the coaches. We've talked to his teammates. Everybody says this kid's a real deal. We're about ready to find out. converts the extra point. A 10-play, 81-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. He's tackled at the 44. Alabama's defense has not played up to their height, that's for sure. One thing you can always count on from this team is a great defensive performance. I think you and I and everybody today got to be shocked to see these guys and how bad they played on that side of the football. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Alabama will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Just over two minutes in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Munoz gains around six yards on the run. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. And they got it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Touchback. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. That brings up second and one. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Caught open field, and he's tackled right around the 36 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Ready! Green 19! Going long. Tackle made at about the 15 yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Here's a quick throw. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. 
and he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Tackle made at the 38. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. So that's going to do it. The Seminoles take this one. 17-14. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.